saying that Biden administration plans to sell more oil to help ease the pain at the pump that you might be feeling. That's right. And right now, the national average for a gallon of regular sits at around $3.88. And with the midterms now just three weeks away, the White House is scrambling to address inflation, which could flip the balance of power in Congress. And it's top of mind among voters. A new poll finds 26% of Americans believe the economy is the biggest issue in the nation, followed by 19% who say inflation. Our team is covering every angle of this story from what it means for you to what it means for the midterms. Let's start with Dre Clark. He is live with the very latest. Dre. Kelly, good morning. The timing of this announcement from this pending announcement from the president is what many people are calling curious. We are weeks away from the midterm elections and high gas prices remains to be a big concern among voters. And while prices have dipped, the president is very concerned those prices could go back up. Also, with OPEC recently announcing it's cutting oil production by 2 million barrels a day, that could also drive prices back up. And so now the president is reportedly planning to take action. Bloomberg Business is reporting that the administration is moving forward with a plan to release at least 10 to 15 million barrels of oil from the nation's emergency strategic reserve, which would stabilize the market and keep prices from going up again. It's the same thing the White House did earlier this year at the beginning of the summer when the national average for a gallon of gas was more than $5 a gallon. That move led to lower gas prices. At the same time, the White House and the Energy Department are expected to announce their plans to replenish the emergency stockpile that it's now drawing from. But the White House's plan to release more barrels has its critics, with some experts saying the reserve should be used for emergencies only and not to lower gas prices or as part of some type of political strategy to win voters over going into the midterm elections. Now, in May, when the Biden administration began drawing from the emergency reserves, there were about 180 million barrels available. That number is now down to 14 million, which explains why there is now a push to go ahead and replenish you replenish that emergency supply. We should also mention that right now that the, according to gas budding, the national average for a gallon of gas is around $3.86. But if you live on the West Coast in California, for example, you're paying more than $6 a gallon because in that part of the country, they're having refinery issues. Kelly. All right, that's Dre Clark. He's reporting live for us this morning. Dre, thank you. Now let's dive. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.